You want to hop back in? Yeah, I have the old GoPro on a tripod. Okay guys, um, we actually tried to take this car on a Wednesday night uh, about three weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. Um, yeah, um, right now hopefully you've seen the video when we swap out the manifold. But when I tried to load up the car on the trailer, the axle popped out. Um, my son went for a test hit. And when he went to go launch it, the axle just popped out on the passenger side, which is weird. I know there's been issues of axles popping out on stock five speed, um, you know, RSX five speed axles. We've used it on the Integra and never had a problem. So I figured we can do the use it on this same mounts or, you know, same style mounts, EG chassis versus DC2, right? Thanks to Young Static, I messaged him and he said swap out the inner cups between the two left and right and might be okay so let's try that yeah it's just kind of weird i mean let me know you guys experience down below why would an integra not have any problem with the axle popping out and civic hatch eg does when i thought all along everything is mirrored between the two chassis right um so yeah let's let's figure it out but yeah for now let's go get this car jacked up in the air and pop the axles out i already got the replacement one for the passenger side and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap out the driver's side cup to the passenger and vice versa and put it back on that way. See if we can make it better. If we can make it better, we'll take this car this Wednesday. Uh, if not, then I guess I have to order some uh, swap axles for this, uh, probably insane shaft. Okay, let's get this thing up in the air and pull the axles out. In case you guys are wondering why am I not in the shop and on the side of the garage instead, well, as I was saying, we were loading this car up, so we're in front of the house. And uh, since the axles popped out, can't exactly drive it to the back. I figured it'd be a lot easier to just do it here in the side of the garage rather than pushing or pulling the car to the back and man, you know, figuring out a way to push it up the up the driveway. The driveway is pretty steep to the shop. So yeah, that's why we are here on the side instead. So let's get this thing off. I love this snap-on gun. Lightweight and has enough torque to do like And yes, we don't put cutter pins on the lower ball joint because It's easier to remove and we go through a check kind of like a checklist oh i don't have the key here all right back we got the key so we got this thing unlocked so we can twist it Let's see if we can just oh, we got a hammer scroll underneath The passenger side. I already got the hammer and the shit underneath. Oh, you need to wipe out? Yeah. I I tried. I don't fit good, and I can't get a good angle. You can look someday. You're not gonna be able to fit underneath. Also, still think it's weird that it pops out on EGs. Now that we know that watch, it's gonna pop out on your green. Cool, thank you. Now I'm probably gonna find who, someone who has it in stock right. and go to that O'Reilly's. That guy's a little sus. Be well, my friend, the one that says that. Yeah, every time I go there. 
quickly go. When I'm done, he goes, all right, cool, thanks. All right, be well, my friend. You know, Red Summers, it's better if you take off this shield. Cooling, brake cooling. That thing is really meant for dust shield. That's the only thing cool about not having a sway bar. Oh, is it dripping? Shit, my bad. That's right. Oh. We should still have some of those big white zip ties, right? Yeah. I gotta swap out the the boot also. See how the way the boot is shaped? Can you hold it like this? Let's just see if it'll go in before I... It should. Yeah. It's gotta yeah, just, just hold it like that real quick. I'm gonna get some rags so you can put it down. Probably would have been better to swap no because it's the shaft we need, not the cup. The only bad about this is if we break an axle where you have to warranty boat. Because yeah. now oh, see that's the thing. Ah, see how loose this is? I guess this is loose, so yeah. they're both kind of I guess if he pops out, he pops out, right? You know, even when I was working on Honda, I hated doing axles. They sell it by a boot replacement. Yeah, and see how messy it is? Okay, so we know that one. Gotta change the fucking thing around too. Ah, uh, yeah, it ain't gonna work. Huh? See how this shaft... No. Okay, look. See how this fits just right? Right? This one. The shaft is smaller. Because, I'll show you in a second. Because if... If I put this here... Which works, right? Doesn't go in. It'll, this will go in it. But this one won't. That's where the problem is. As they say, back to square one. So yeah, that's where the video is going to end. So we can't switch the passenger cup to the driver cup because the shaft itself is thicker as you, you can see should have looked at it should have should have noticed that sooner but i wasn't paying attention and the tripod bearing which is the three bearing this 
is physically bigger than this one so this one will never fit on the other one you could put this here but then it, it'll be loose you know so i imagine that won't work either so yeah uh looks like we're just gonna have to order some swap axles i still think it's kind of weird how we can't have you know it's pushing out on integra or on civic but not on integras so we'll end this video right here uh, sorry it's a short video we'll catch up on the video when we get the right axles for it looks like i'm ordering swap axles all right till next time